Let's take a look at the best case for the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Okay, so having a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus means that it needs to be protected against all elements. What I do is I have had my S8, which is pretty much immaculate. I think there's one, there's one knock from the day that I took it out of its case. And I have been using, and I have absolutely no affiliation with them whatsoever, these very simple spigeon cases, which my son attached this to just the other day. Spigeon. I don't even know if that's the correct pronunciation for it, but I pronounce it Spigeon. That'll do. These are about $9.99 off Amazon.co.uk and I love them. I use these, particularly the thin ones, for just the day-to-day -day stuff. For going into work or mounting it in the car because it's particularly thin. It has these side impact zones that allow you to... It takes a knock and I have dropped this a number of times inside this and it's done well. It hasn't uh, it hasn't had any problems. Uh, there's this bit here is about applying a metal plate for the air vent mount, but uh, I wouldn't worry about that right now. Uh, all the cutouts are quite appropriate. And then for the times that I'm going just that little bit further afield, maybe a Christmas dinner or heading up a mountain or something, I use the slightly rougher version of it, which is the Neo Hybrid, uh, the Spigeon, which has a, a structural integrity backbone, uh, these little air ways to stop mold and things from building up inside it and like a rubberized texture so it doesn't slip out of your hand and it's a it's a really good option. I haven't bought one of these yet for the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus however I have bought just the thin fit one. This one I just nicknamed the Christmas party case because it only comes out every time, every once in a while. I think this has been used about six or seven times inside the time I've had it. If I ever go on holiday, I'll use it. So I'll get one of these for that at some point. But right now for moving out into the world, and I have opened this just to check that the case did fit, we have this. And it is, it's, it's super flexible, but it's just that little bit stronger that it'll, that it'll take the knock, if you were ever to drop this. The sides, the corners are particularly well rounded so that it'll take a, a nice knock if you were to drop it. It'll keep the back from getting scratched in any way, shape or form. And it looks quite good on there. It's minimalistic, which is what I really want because I want the case not to be big and bulky in my pocket but enough that it'll give you that little bit of extra protection and grip. Let's not forget grip because these are slippery phones, especially on a cold, dry day. I, I don't want any possible accidents to happen. It's got cutouts for all the right areas, um, which are not too deep, so you can put your headphone connector in there if you need to. Uh, the Obviously, there's a cutout there. And actually, this looks quite cool as well because the there's a bit of a cutout for the camera array and it just sits up nicely and then there's a little bit of a ridge as well to to keep it from actually getting scratched whenever you set it down now obviously people will go up ah, but the the ridge here is pathetic and if you were to drop it like that it will get scratched and things but you know it's a big screen you have a screen protector and you have cornering gorilla glass 6 on here as well so if it's going if you're going to scratch the screen you're going to scratch the screen regardless of whatever case you have on there and even the likes of this case, which does have an extra ridge around, it's still not close enough, uh, or any case is going to be close enough if you were to drop it on gravel or stones to protect it from just those little jutty out bits. Um, it's it's a really nice case. It's thoroughly recommended by me at $9.99. It's a bit of a steal. I think you can you can find it on sale every now and again for $7.99, or there might be a promotion. I got mine for $7.99. And, uh, and this is my favourite case for day-to-day -day use on the Samsung Galaxy S10. I will purchase the, the Neo Hybrid version whenever I have need to, but right now, as I'm debating whether or not I'm keeping the S10+, Plus, this is what I'm going to be using on it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button and give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And we'll be discussing the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in a lot
greater detail on the next episode of the Tech Addicts podcast, which is podcast number 300. And there's links in the notes down below as to where to get it whenever it debuts. And other than that, take care.